What's up? It's Ian the Fit Medic here, and today we're doing an episode on prepping and the pandemic. Roll the intro. Firstly, welcome back to another video. The times are very weird right now, and um, I think it's affecting everybody in a different capacity. Um, so hopefully everyone's doing all right out there. And please remember that we need to take everything day by day and breath by breath. So with that being said, let's talk about where I am right now, because I've been getting a lot of questions about what I'm doing with prepping um, the pandemic and just bodybuilding in general in such a changing time. So while I have been prepping for some time, getting ready for this competition actually started a bit earlier than when I started prep. March of 2019, I started to, to lean out very slowly because I'd only done um, aggressive preps to that point. So I kind of wanted to test my body to see what it would, how it would react to me doing a slower deficit and losing weight at a slower rate. I planned a photo shoot for a goal for that lean out. And here are some photos from that photo shoot. So this was a about a three months of leaning out, slow deficit. I would get one cheat meal a week. Um, I didn't feel very restricted at all in this lean out, which was a really nice eye opener on what I could do when I took my time a little bit more than I had been in the past. So after about two to three months of a slow lean out, it brought me to the summer. I did my photo shoot. And then I decided to sustain my weight at that point, which means I didn't stay in my deficit as aggressive. Um, I kind of tried to maintain where my weight was. And this kept me around 142 pounds from where I was before, which was 150 plus. I sustained this maintenance level for about two months through the summer. And then in August, I started to reverse diet in prep for my prep. And this was August to... November of 2019. And after reverse dieting, I started my official prep December 4th, 2019. And for 17 weeks, I held that prep until just a few weeks ago. As this pandemic started to pick up, there were competitions that started to drop out, competitions that started to suspend themselves to later dates. And it got to the point where of my three competitions, two were completely canceled. One was postponed and then canceled. Um, I chose a fallback competition, which was a little bit later, that got canceled. And one of the competitions didn't get canceled, but it became an online competition. I don't really know how they were doing the formatting or are doing the formatting. I'm assuming something along the lines of prejudging via a Zoom call and the Zoom call being streamed out to a streaming platform for people to watch. My goal coming into this competition series was to win overall first place in classic physique. This would then in turn give me my pro card and allow me to start competing as a pro bodybuilder. That being said, with all the competitions canceled, except for one being an online competition, and quite frankly, I don't know if they are even offering pro cards from this online competition. And even if they were, if I were to win that, I wouldn't be proud, quite frankly, of an online competition pro card. That being said, I am not dinging them doing what they're doing. I think it's fantastic that they're adjusting the way that they operate while still maintaining some level of normality in such a changing time. And I highly respect them for that. But that being said, to me, the sacrifices that I would make to stay in prep is not worth an online competition. So because of that, I decided that I was going to start reverse dieting and am currently reverse dieting out of prep. While this is heavily disappointing for me and mentally pretty challenging to just one day decide, okay, I'm going to start reverse diet without there, there being a climax of a competition and at least an attempt at my goals. This prep was not for nothing. I learned an incredible amount of invaluable information about how to prep and how to prep for my body and as well as how I need to peak to be a freak or freak peak as I like to call it, which is the, the peak week protocols that every bodybuilder has their own little variation on doing to essentially fill their muscles out, fill the vasculature out, and look the best they can for that you know, couple hours that they're competing. And a good peak week can be the make it or break it between 
first call outs, first place, and a much lower scoring. And I was very lucky that I attempted a mock peak week in, in my prep about three weeks out from where I was supposed to compete. And so I came away from a prep with not just knowledge, but also pictures. I went ahead and did a, a professional photo shoot with an incredible photographer. I'm gonna go ahead and post those pictures from that photo shoot. This photographer is absolutely amazing. He's based out of Baltimore. I will link his contact information in the bio because if you're in the area and you want just an amazing wizard behind the lens, that's your man. And I'm realizing now that it's time that I put focus back into and priority back into working as a paramedic during a pandemic. Not just with 911, but I also work on a critical care team that specializes in highly infectious disease transport, in which most of our demographic right now for transports are COVID positive patients, and a lot of them are very sick. And because of that, my own health, my energy, and my own flexibility needs to be prioritized above bodybuilding right now. Now that doesn't mean that I'm gonna just throw everything to the wayside, eat whatever I want, put on a lot of extra weight, and forget about lifting. It just means I need to shift from prep being my highest priority to maybe my second or my third priority with once again prioritizing my job and my health above that. While it's very easy to have a dichotomous black and white perspective on life and be like all or nothing, it's also really flexible and important for success in my opinion to go ahead and actually focus on being able to move the priorities and the balance just a little bit just weigh the scale a little bit differently so that you don't lose stuff that you still care about, like bodybuilding, while prioritizing something important like health. So how am I doing that? And how am I going forward with everything going on? Like I mentioned before, I am now currently reverse dieting and I'm about three weeks into a reverse diet. I'll probably have another video all about reverse diets and how I'm doing mine. But a reverse diet, like I have in my episode of Minute Monday Explained, is just the opposite of a standard diet. Opposed to restricting calories, you're building calories back in. It's done, once again, in a slow, methodical manner, and the slower you do it, the less fat gain you will have associated with it. The goal and priority in reverse dieting is to help rehab and bring your metabolic rate back up while limiting fat gain alongside of that. Right now, my goals with reverse dieting is a mild to moderate fat gain. This equates to titrating your calories in a fashion in which you gain 0.2 to no more than 0.8% body weight increase per week. With this, I plan to be flexible with everything going on. I allow myself to be flexible with going over some days, especially if I'm on shift, and not beat myself up about that if I have higher calorie days. If my reverse diet goes well and I limit fat gain while rehabbing my metabolism appropriately and the timing works out that there's another competition maybe late summer, I may go ahead and jump back into a prep to get back to stage leanness to compete. But I'll be honest, that is a low chance, a low priority for me because I don't want to keep that in the back of my head the entire time and then beat myself up more if my reverse diet doesn't go as well as I was planning to, because at the end of the day, I do want to enjoy myself and I do need to focus once again on my entire health, which includes my mental health while being in a pandemic like this while working as a paramedic. So my off days, I focus on rehabbing and repairing myself. And sometimes that includes me enjoying foods that I wouldn't be able to in prep. While I can fit most of those into my reverse diet without a problem, I still don't want to be reverse dieting with the thought of, oh, well, I got to stay restrictive because I might go back into a prep that defeats the purpose of balance and prioritizing balance and flexibility right now. I want to enjoy my summer. I want to enjoy my time off. I don't know when things will kind of return back to normal, but quite frankly, they will probably return back to normal far later for myself and other healthcare providers than they will for other people. So this is a longer haul than it may seem or than it may be for other people. And so I have to treat myself accordingly. I can't just grin and bear it. I need to actually find some level of sustainability in my own wellness going forward. Not to mention my birthday's next month and I want to be able to enjoy my birthday and enjoy my time going forward. So with everything being said, a summary of what I talked about today is quite simple. 
My competitions got canceled. I am not competing or do not have a competition set right now. My plan is to prioritize wellness, flexibility, health, and reverse dieting out of prep. And if there is a competition that lines up right and my head is in the right place, I may jump back into prep for a short prep to go ahead and compete. Maybe late summer, but once again, that is not a priority or a high chance right now. All I know is it's important to take everything day by day as flexibly and mindful as possible. So thank you guys so much for listening to another video. I really, really do appreciate everyone that likes, comments, follows, subscribes, everything in between. It really is so great to have a response to these videos. As a content creator, that means the world to me. Um, so I just appreciate everyone that chimes in, everyone that views the videos or texts me directly, messages me directly about stuff they saw in my videos. I really do appreciate it. And with that being said, I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.